So we have some even more good news for Hollywood. It seems that Hollywood, you know, has been struggling the better half of the year, but it seems that Hollywood has been doing better for the past for this for this next month. But again, only the sequels, prequels, and reboots. Not not nothing that's not part of the franchise. Um, well, uh, no one's gonna go see those. But this Figure Me Four will prove the minions of box office gold once again. So this is the movie coming out next week. This week is Quiet Place Part One, but both movies are going to do very well. So Inside Out 2 overperformed so-called projections. Again, I think the reason why projections are so well is because of how horrible Disney movies have been doing for the past year. So they said, yeah, this movie's not going to do too well. But it seems that, you know, they underestimated the movie a lot by its box office as well. So the movie is expected to pull at least $100 million at the bell minimum. That's what they're projecting. And... Based entry attacking sixty-one to seventy-one million dollars by the Friday Saturday weekend spreads for boxers. Fury Fury is like they would easily obey these tracking projections. Kind of like with a lot of movies I've actually put where these so-called projections. Uh, Godzilla did, Kung Fu Panda 4 did, and Inside Out 2 being the most recent movie to do so. Also, Bad Boys, Ride or Die also obliterated the franchise, the projections of the opening as well. But it seems that the Circle Me 4 is gonna make a lot of money. Which means we'll probably be continuing to get even more Despicable Me Minions movies as these movies continue to make money. So the way it's entry in the series is Glue and the Girls, you know, Glue and Lucy and the Girls and Agnes. Welcome to new member Glue Jr. Faces a new enemy in the form of Maxine Valmel, Will Ferrell, and his girlfriend Valentina as well. So yeah, that's all the people in this movie. But apparently this movie is also going to, I think this movie is also going to make a billion dollars. Quiet Place Day 1 is supposed to be a sizable hit for the core crowd. But snatched between uh, two animated B-Mouse squads that put the and so on the corner. Also the Twister movie they also get paid, is also projected to make a decent splash at the box office as well. So all is good at this current moment for Hollywood. All is good for Hollywood. Of course the August straight of movies look to be very very bleak. Very, very old meh. Like, they had that weird live accent. Like, why are they making the live Borderlands movie live accent? Why are we making the Borderlands movie live accent when the games clearly have a cel sated art style? Like, why are we not making the movie look like the games? Like, I get Hollywood hates making, you know, animation that's for anything, anyone above the age of 10, but come on. Borderlands will be an will be an animated movie one hundred percent. It will not be a live action movie. Who who? No one is gonna watch a, a live action Borderlands movie. I'm just sorry. Okay, Borderlands works as an ad would work would work one hundred percent as an animated movie. One hundred percent. That's what the movie. That's what the games look like. You should make the movie look like the games. It's just that simple. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.